Hopefully the quality is not too bad on this thing. I mean, I don't know. Look at this cleared up. Okay, okay. So, The Wire. Um, this is episode three in season two, I think. If it's not, it'll be in the description. I, I know I should do a better job, but... <laughs> um, so... This episode is actually starting to get way, way... The story's starting to get way, way... Okay, let me slow down. The story's starting to get much more complex and just better overall. So, you got this this ongoing battle between uh, this high-ranking police officer and this uh, this uh, union. Union that works... Longshore, longshoreman's union that works for this particular dock or port or whatever it is, right? So... They're going at it. That battle's getting more and more heated. But, you know, so and this, you know, The Wire is so interesting. I mean, it does such a great job of telling multiple stories at the same time. So you've got, you know, you've got the main story. Well, not necessarily the main story, but you have a, a bigger story in the, the the ego battle or the the struggling for influence, the, the struggle for influence between this uh police officer and this uh, 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 head of union, right? But uh, on the same coin, you've got some of these guys inside the union who, you know, while things are while things are readjusting and they're trying to get a, a foothold, basically, they're starving, they feel like. So they decide to start making moves by themselves with inside it. Now, it's, I wonder, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out later on in this uh, uh, season. On top of that, you've got uh, the officers that he's uh, gotten to basically take these guys down for anything. They're, cert they're sniffing around trying to find anything illegal on these on these dock workers. And the guys he's been given are like the same old tired characters uh, who rather just get paid to do nothing. Which I think a lot of people, you know, I have to give, I have to be 100% honest, I think a lot of people would, would rather do that than actually work, but I feel like in this case, you are police officers, even though probably at some some level, they understand that this is just, they've only been put in this position because of this guy and whatever agenda he has, with that, with that being said, still, I feel like police officers should be should consider doing their job a little bit better than they're doing now. I mean, I, I'm just saying, uh, maybe I got off track a little bit. But, you know, you got, so you got all that going on. And at the same time, they're telling the story of uh, uh, the individuals from the, from, the, from the previous season who were involved in that crime organization, I mean, that criminal organization, who are now incarcerated. And I guess there's not too much you can pull from... A prison setting. I mean, there there is. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of shows that have that have jumped into that uh, uh, topic and shows that are revolving solely around the topic. There's plenty that can be pulled from that type of lifestyle, but I guess they're choosing a lighter route. The only problem that they've run into is uh, D, the character that we've introduced to in last season, and Avon, uh, their family, but. Oh, before I forget, I should I should I should talk about the fact that it's some uh uh damn I was gonna use a it's like some some weird is it is, is that the word monarchy I think like like king and queen type stuff going on family family rule family knows best type stuff is going on between him between these two characters uh, they have like a, 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 a built an empire based on family structure and people that cook. Of course, that can come in and be adopted into the family. We see that type of struggle going on, but it's simply him dealing with the fact that he got 20 years. Now, uh, Avon is trying to console D, but D's, you know, he's, he's getting high, trying to escape. Um, trying to console him with the fact that he may be used, he may be doing like 10 or less years, which is, hey, you, you can't. If I was in his position, it doesn't matter what you say to me, man. I got 20 years. And, oh, we got 10. Great. Great. I have 10 years. Great. It's better than 20, but 10 is still a long time. And he's saying he's only going to do uh, like 
one or three of the seven that he was given or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, to, to, to continue on, the interesting part about this prison situation is, you know, they got a, a guy who's, I, I called him a crash dummy. Basically, he's a, a do-whatever type nigga. That's, a lot of organizations need an individual like that. So he's in there, but he's he's confessed to every murder they threw at him. And just so happens, one of those murders was a relative of a correction officer. Now, there's a problem. If you murdered a relative of mine and I have power over you, of course I'm going to abuse it, right? I wouldn't... Personally, I wouldn't put myself in that situation, but I'm saying I can see how that individual would do that, right? Makes all the sense in the world, to me anyway. So Avon's trying to get an ear, get his ear and say, hey, look, man, whatever you need, we can help you out, but you need to lay off my mans. <laughs> in so many words, right? Look at me trying to talk like I'm from that neighborhood. It's so funny. Um, but he's not trying to hear He's He's going, he's going on deaf ears. He's trying to grab his ear, but he's going on deaf ears, right? So he decides to send some guys on him on the outside and figure out what he's into. Of course, this guy's all this rah-rah and hubbub uh, about this relative of his. In the meantime, he's uh, bringing in narcotics to, I think it's uh, some some nasal candy, uh, powder, white. These are all the slang terms I know. Uh, yeah, he's, he's bringing some of that stuff from the outside into the inside. Now, they play a really smart, they do a really smart move here. Instead of them eliminating him and raising suspicion or whatever, they could, they could do any number of things. They decide to spike his supply. That's way worse, way worse, way worse than just beating him up. Because now he's going to have to suffer the consequences of that action because they're going to do an investigation, figure out how this stuff got in there, blah, 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 blah. It's going to follow back to him and all type of stuff's going to happen, right? Okay. Smart move, right? Now, what else happens in this episode? Um, hmm. I, I guess I skimmed over the fact uh, that these dock workers about the play they make. So, they feel like they're in a position where they're not making any money. When one of them, he's, he's a, a less than desirable character that doesn't necessarily make him a bad person he's a less desirable character okay you got him right now he uh he's trying to push to his his buddy hey man uh let's go push him let's go push some narcotics he's trying to push the trying to get that idea in his head let's go push some narcotics but his buddy's like he feels like that's beneath him which whatever right um he decides to they, they both decide on her own to take a shipment of like cameras or something and sell them to the same guy that they've been doing business with other deals. Looks like it's working out, but I'm curious to see how that plays out. Um, the only reason I bring him up is I feel like he's a liability and needs to be like pushed to the side because he's way too emotional. At least I, that's what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm, I don't have all the, of course this is like only three episodes in, so I don't have, they have, I haven't seen all the information on this character yet. So I don't necessarily know what he's capable of, what he's not capable of. Um, let's see. Uh, we can deal with the cops now. Okay, so what's going on with them? What's going on with them? Um, well, I spoke on them a little bit, but let's get to the guys. With the McNulty clan. <laughs> the McNulty clan, put it like that. He's not even in that, in a position to do anything about this particular place that's tied to the docks with the with the uh, with the uh, like uh, European uh, European uh, prostitutes or women of traffic flesh. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a name to call them, but it's not so bad sounding. But I mean, they they were in a really shitty situation. So uh, well, now they're all dead. But anyway, um, he's he's still trying to. That case is eating at him. He's trying to solve it. Basically, was not without even being involved in it. Um, they're doing the best they can, but they've hit so many roadblocks. One is the language barrier, and two is there's just not much to go on for these guys. So, of course, I'm interested to see how they solve this one. Especially, I'm interested. In, it's looking like, uh, uh, what is it? What's that song? The boys are back in town. 
It's looking like <coughs> a little smoky this morning. I cooked me some breakfast and had to heat up a little too high. Um. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it looks like the whole team's getting put back together. So it's like the lieutenant, um, no team, uh, 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 Kima. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, 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 the the silly guy with, that was shooting, shot himself, and all that stuff. Um, I forget a lot of the characters' names, but it looks like that whole merry clan of not men, merry clan of individuals is going to be put back together. Now they get results. I'm dying to see what they're going to do. So, still working out the kinks here, but bear with me. If you like this video, be sure to check out my other videos. I've done a, I've done the full series of Breaking Bad. If you like that, and of course I'm doing the Wire right now. I just started on the Mandalorian. Uh, I have some movies sprinkled in there as well. Uh, of course, there's always more to come.